Hey y'all, what's up? This your boy, P. Nut, coming at you with another reaction. And before we get into this, welcome to the Peanut Gallery, y'all. And today, we'll be reacting to part two of the Shredder Trials by CJ the Champ. This one is called The Demonic Trial of the Tengu Shredder. Enough talk, let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, Damn, it's time for another out. installment of the Shredder Trials. And our next challenger Let's has approached go. to be judged for the prestigious honor of Yoda, having a seat up? at the round table. And that next challenger is none other than the demonic Avengers level threat, okay. the Tengu Shredder. So we ain't gonna waste no time. Without further Let's ado, it. it is time to continue the Shredder Trials. Let's get it. Exhibit A. Y'all righty, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit A, the Shredder from Hell. All right. Now, the Tengu Shredder is from the depths of Hell. Really? Now, I know some of y'all niggas gotta be shook, because first we talked about an alien, and now we're talking about a demon. Okay. I know some of y'all probably thought Shredder was just a human. Well, I mean, the next trial, we will be talking about the human version, but okay. this one, however, though, yeah, get ready to strap in. So I'm to strapped, understand all of this, seatbelt. we have to go back all the way to 300 AD. Now, really? as we can see, this village is burning, and people are running for their lives, because they are under attack by a Tengu. That was called the that Shredder. Man was really? Yeah. This big ass Godzilla looking motherfucker was hell? the original Shredder that came from the depths of hell to wreak havoc on Earth. And really? Look at it. He is killing niggas out here frying motherfuckers extra crispy. And this <laughs> demon just wreaked havoc and destroyed everything in his path. So to stop the Shredder, the Emperor of Japan gathered the five greatest warriors in the world. Okay. And of those warriors, one of them was none other than the original Orokusaki. Really? Yes, Utram Shredder stole this whole niggas flow to gain respect and have a higher place in society. That's so crazy. these great warriors were given sacred armor and they set out to defeat the Shredder. Now, before that battle even starts, we gotta pump the brakes because look at this shit. That is a whole village over there that has been burnt down and destroyed. Yep. And by my calculations, those villagers are 99.9% Dead. Yep. I mean, let's be real. It's a demon. He probably snatched all their damn souls. This but anyways, the warriors pull up on Shredder and immediately start to get washed. They stood no chance. Look Man, at this dude in his horse. Shredder winded up his fist all the way to the heavens and slumped that nigga all the way to the Mississippi River. Goodbye. Get bro right Mississippi here. Blood tried That's to hit him funny. with a mace and chain him up around his tree. But the demon said, <laughs> <laughs> Straight up squash that nigga. Damn. So the only person that was able to give this demon a fight was none other than Oroku Saki. Now Saki was actually able to damage that. He was so strong he was able to cut off the demon's arm and actually bring it to its knees. So it looked like it was all over. The world was about to be saved. Saki okay, told him, go. go back to the hell from which you came from, demon. But right before he was about to give the killing blow, the demon invaded his mind, and oh he started boy. to seduce this man. So the Shredder made him a offer. So he told him, Bobby oh, did with Vegeta. great warrior, I can give you everything that you desire. Money, power, bitches. Oh, not the bitches, beast. you say. Countless bitches from across the world. Damn. All you have to do is sell me your soul. So, after hearing the demon's offer, Saki took the deal. Wow. He sold his soul. So he destroyed the body stories. of the demon to make it look like he defeated him. But in all actuality, the demon merged with him. And really? Oroku Saki became the host of the Shredder. So they returned to Yamato, and they were welcomed back with a party by the emperor and all of the people. So the emperor is up here praising them, giving them the glory, the honor, and all the glaze. But little did he and everybody else know that the worst was yet to come. Because later on, right after the ceremony, Saki, or no, let me rephrase that, the Shredder mm -hmm. came back to Yamato, surrounded by demons, and destroyed the whole place, massacring mm -hmm. everybody. 
Man wastes no time. So, uh, the Emperor? Yeah, that nigga's dead. Jeez. And over time, he just plunged the entire world into darkness. Nobody could stop this nigga. Not even armies. They all failed. He became the world's most feared warlord. I and on top of that, why. he was a Avengers level threat. It was hopeless. Mm -hmm. This was the Demon King that all the Isekai protagonists are summoned to come defeat. So there was <laughs> only the other one way ones. to stop this Demon King Shredder. The four other ninjas that used to be his teammates had to learn mystic arts so they could ascend to godhood because that really? was the only way they were going to be able to stop him. So Shit, years later, after they finished training and became gods, they went to confront their old friend. Now, as we can see, the Shredder, or should I call him Oroku Hefner, <laughs> is having a good old time with his bitches. The royal penis is clean, your highness. Oh, Just the four shoot. dragon warriors bust up in his crib. So obviously, this man Shredder was pissed. He told him, oh, you cock-blocking motherfuckers. Not we were easy. just about to get to the good part. Fuck you, Saki. You betrayed us. Your best friends. All for what, Saki? For a taste of pussy? <laughs> Don't act like I was in the wrong. Hanging out with you pussyless fools was never going to get me laid. So Shredder attacks him, but the four dragons were ready. Because with their mystic arts, they were able to keep up with them. So they actually end up knocking this man down. Hell, they couldn't even believe it. So the Shredder decided it was time to release his full power. Okay. So this man transforms into a dragon. What the hell? This is not you. This was wild. You had to think, oh, these niggas are about to get cooked. But then you gotta remember, oh wait, these niggas are also gods too. Man, so they, they transformed uh, into dragon eyes. avatars as well. So it was time for the final boss battle with the world at stake. A big ass dragon battle. Yeah, so the mother green ranger hits him from the back and smashes him in the ground. But this man got up and used super explosive wave, sending mm. everybody flying. The yellow ranger got flung all the way into a mountain. And oh my god, look what he did to the green ranger. Uh -oh. Nigga grabbed her neck and planted her in the ground. Mm. Then he threw her so hard and destroyed the whole castle. But the four dragons were persistent. Even though they was getting their ass whooped and getting bitch slapped, Damn. they kept on jumping them. So then the yellow ranger ends up turning into Kung Lao. Nigga threw his hat and it turned into a shuriken, cutting mm. off both of his hands. Then they start using key blasts to Damn, seal this bro. man's spirit. Key so he ended up running out of key for his transformation and ended up falling all the way down to the ground. The Shredder's reign of terror was finally over. So the four dragons came up with a plan because they knew they couldn't kill him because this man was an entity. Death would not hold this man back. So they decided to seal him so he would never resurrect. So these Smart four move. ninjas ended up becoming the legendary ninja tribunal. And their whole purpose was to watch over this man's casket and to train warriors if this man ever resurrected. And they did this for 1,700 years. Damn. So everything seemed all fine and dandy. Until his acolytes broke in, stole his casket, and resurrected him. The Shredder Trials. Watch Exhibit over somebody a for 1,700 years. Multiple Nasty. mass murders. Property damage. Yeah, multiple attempted murders. Yep. Criminal mischief. Treason of the highest order. Mm -hmm. War crimes. Exhibit B. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit B. Dark Resurrection. So, as I stated at the end of Exhibit A, the Shredder's mystic acolytes broke into the tribunal's temple and stole the Shredder's casket mm. so they could resurrect him. So now we go back to present-day New York, and his acolytes are performing the ritual in the Chrysler building. I know this man Spider-Man mad doing this satanic shit on his turf. Yep. So to resurrect the Shredder, they had to recite these words and say it in unison. <laughs> <laughs> so using the ancient speech to summon the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, the Shredder arose from the dead and his body was completely rebuilt into the form of a demon. And his aura was so strong, he blew the place up. So once the acolytes knew this man was back, they instantly started glazing. This nigga Shredder was on some Roman Reigns shit. The first thing he said out the casket was, Acknowledge me! <laughs> oh, yes, me lord. 
So Shredder was itching to do some bad things because the man's been zilled for 1700 years. But also, the acolytes told him about the Utram Shredder and how he impersonated him for years. And even though Utram Shredder isn't here anymore, Karai became the new Shredder. So this really? man was lit and immediately attacked his acolytes. And bro was yelling yeah, at him and telling him, bro, oh, dare the you let those bum ass niggas tarnish my name? Oh, 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 master, we, we apologize. So the first thing on this man's agenda was to head to the foot headquarters. And while he was on the way, he decided to cause mayhem. Nigga was floating down the streets and just destroying everything, causing crazy. multiple car crashes, blowing up newspaper stands, mm. vandalizing that one statue outside of the Rockefeller Center. Mm -hmm. And my God, this was the worst one. He let this motherfucker right here burn alive in a car. That's nasty work. <laughs> what? Hey, this show was shown on four kids, by the way. So Shredder oh, arrives at Foot thinking? Clan HQ and doesn't even decide to use the door. That's clearly right there. Nah, he just blows a massive hole open. So a massive amount of Foot just come up and try to ambush him. But Shredder was about to catch 100 bodies in just five seconds because he immediately blows up the entire area. Killing mm. damn near every foot ninja in the blast radius. And it went so quick, he was disappointed. Shredder looked at their corpses and said, You call yourselves ninja? Pathetic. Put the fries in the bag. <laughs> so then the foot clan <laughs> deploys the every single bag. mech that they have to try to stop them. But they failed miserably, getting eviscerated on the spot. And just look at this carnage, bro. They stood no chance. Nigga right here got folded like an omelet. Mm -hmm. So Shredder proceeded to get all the way to the top floor. And he is immediately met by the elite guard. The same elite guard that put Leonardo in a coma for a week. Yep. And you know what he does to these dudes? He uses the force to grab their weapons. Then just flings it at them, one-shotting them. The Foot Clan elites got one-shotted by this man. Unbelievable. So the last That's people to try to stop him, level. these recon ninja trying to seal him, but this did not work at all because this man just breaks out of what they're trying to seal him in and brutally snatches their souls. Man. He left their bodies a empty husk. More shame so song, Shredder was too. losing patience. He yelled, Karai, bring your bitch ass out here. So Karai comes out in her Shredder armor and she is not having this. She told this man, Okay, first of all, boo-boo, I'm going to need you to load that tone. Rolling up on my turf on some bullshit. Nigga, what the fuck you think you is? The Shredder? <laughs> I'm a psychologist, nigga. You don't think I can read right through your phony ass? Newsflash, old nigga. I'm in charge now. So Karai tries to attack him, but bro immediately grabs her and throws her into a <laughs> Mm, and Shredder was killing himself, yapping at her and saying, Oh yeah, get on up, you raggedy bitch! So mm. Bro grabbed her and threw her across the room again. This nigga did not come to play games. Mm -mm. So Karai had to pull out her trump card. She pulled out some holy water and threw it on the nigga. And she actually started pushing him. She had this man okay, scrambling. Yeah, so then bro. she picks him on the wall yeah. and stabs him right in the gut. Mm. And Bro falls to his knees. And it looks like Karai is won. But my god, this was some... Up shit this man did his helmet falls off okay. and he just looks at her and her emotions start to get the best of her because she sees his face and she's like D -d -d daddy oh my sweet child so she comes oh, down to try to help him because she thinks this is her dad but he turns his face back into a demon and just starts laughing at her. She is legit traumatized. And bro just gets up and rips the sword out of his stomach. Mm. Nigga said, Foolish little girl, you thought this weak shit would kill me? So he turns the sword into a snake mm. and just has it chase her around while he's just watching and laughing the whole time she's running for her life. This is a sick nigga. So then he comes right. out and drop kicks her and she ends up running into a pole and the snake wraps her up. So before he's about to deliver the final strike he's giving her a choice of do you want to die by my claws or my serpent's fangs choose wisely now well, he's going in for the kill she makes a hard read Weep. and ducks this man and he ends up cutting off the serpent's okay. head so shredder lost all his patience he grabbed her and just threw her on the wall mm. and bro floated up to her and told her you dare call yourself shredder you fucking fraud take this shit off so he rips off Man, her arm menace. and then he probably said the wildest line in this entire show in his exact words i quote after looking at you perhaps i should let you live after all you would make a fine 
slave. What? This is Dorn. What? What? Another reminder that this was on four kids, by the way. So yeah, the Turtles finally pull up with some game, new mystical game, abilities man. that they got from training with the tribunal. And this Shredder has never met these turtles yet. So he was confused. He was like, Talking turtles. The fuck are you supposed to be, nigga turtles? So Shredder said to hell with it. It's time to pull out my ultimate technique. Let's so go. this man floats up and says, The main expansion. Not JJK. Yes, this shredder has a domain expansion. What? And it is broken because his domain expansion allows him to raise every single enemy he's killed from the dead. That's me, that's so Dang. Dang. So all those people he killed during his conquest back in 300 AD? Yeah, he could bring them right back up along mm. with other creatures from the nether realm. So he has them attack everybody and they can't do nothing because every time they take one out, they just rise back up. They were going against an immortal army, but here comes Karai again, but she got a new toy. She got a holy water sword. So mm. she starts clashing swords with Shredder and she actually ends up landing a hit, but okay. this just pissed him off because he walked her down and cut her sword in half. Yeah. Oh, fuck. So he yeah, walked he her screwed. down and had his undead grab her and hold her in place so he is about to kill her but karai's boyfriend dr chaplin shoots this nigga with a holy water gun blowing a hole in his stomach but this did nothing this man was really? truly immortal he started laughing and just regenerated bro what are you doing you fighting somebody you put a hole in their chest and they're still standing just laughing that's when you just quit the fight and say hey you got it man and he's regenerating himself, bro. This man think he mixed her a piccolo and kid and booing them. He looked at her boyfriend and said, Oh, I get it. Is this your girl, nigga? Well, if it is, congratulations. Because you have a front row seat of me blowing your bitch back out. Oh. Mm. Wow. Wow. To be honest with you, I don't know how the hell Karai survived this. I don't. She should be dead. Dead as hell. True. So Shredder blows everybody off the roof. And the turtles and everybody got a retreat. This battle was hopeless. They got they ass beat. Karai got put in a coma mm. and lost all the drip. She has no sauce. But you know where she can <laughs> get that drip back at? She can get that sauce back on CJDChamp.com nice. with that two mil merch. Link in the description. She needed nice. Nice plug. Nice plug on the Shredder, Shredder trials. Uh, exhibit B wrap up. Attempted murder, mm -hmm. murder, arson, criminal mischief, mass murder, assault, vehicular manslaughter. Yep. That is all correct. Let's get it. Alrighty, ladies and gents, it is now time for our final exhibit. Exhibit it. C: Hell on Earth. All right. So. After Shredder brutalized and destroyed the Foot Clan in a night, he decided it's time to take over New York. So he makes his way over to the mayor's house. And instead of really? walking through the door like a civilized citizen, this man decides to break through the roof so he could fly in and assert his dominance. So the mayor was terrified while Shredder was up here floating and saying, This is what you deserve for those foolish tax cuts, you fat fool. So he picks this man up and throws him to the side of the wall. Damn. That man's back has got to be broken. Mm -hmm. He threw him so hard, he made a dent in the wall. Yeah. And that man is not the fuck out. So you just assaulted a government official, yep. broke his back, yep. and the way his head landed, he probably just gave him Antonio Brown levels of CTE. <laughs> so it was time for Shredder to enact <laughs> this plan. He started using his domain expansion to transform the entire city into hell on earth. Wow. It was complete chaos. Some people even got hit and got their soul snatched and turned into an undead monster. Damn, and to make sure it covered clean. everything. This man transformed back into his demonic dragon form and spread it out his domain all the way throughout the entire city. And when he was done, he turned the entire city into hell. There is a fucking volcano in Times Square. What Look the at hell? the Statue of Liberty. What the hell is that? <laughs> a 
and Shredder wasn't even gonna stop he him. He was playing. going to spread his domain across the entire planet, of but course. he needed time to rest before he could do it. So the Ninja Turtles and everybody had to come up with a plan, and that Very was quick. to form the Avengers. They had to get other acolytes from the Tribunal, Agent Bishop and Dr. Stockman from their Shadow Organization, okay. every superhero in the city, and Karai with whatever was left with the foot. So right. they all go to Shredder's stronghold and start to assault the base. So after they had to fight through floors of monsters and kill the Shredder's mystic acolytes, they in finally the reached his throne room, and he welcomed them in. Because he wanted to kill them personally. Because all of them were trained by the tribunal. The people that sealed him to begin with. But before he was about to attack, Karai pulled out some mystic ninjutsu to start draining this man's power. So this actually ends up knocking him down. Mm. Because they finally found a weakness against this man. So this big bastard hun walks up to bro's body and kicks him and he's like, <laughs> Nigga, you ain't shit. Compared to Master Shirelle, huh? nigga, you trash. Mm. But Hun celebrated too soon. Shredder grabbed this man, floated up and told him, okay. How dare you put your lowly monkey feet on my trip, nigga? You should focus on facing that bagged up ass hairline of yours. Okay. So the final battle finally started. Bootleg Superman Silver Century tried to punch him, but got blocked oh, immediately. Stinking. And Bro started breaking his arm and telling him, My God, your headline's even worse. When did the Vegeta start coming in fashion? <laughs> to God knows where. Nigga hit him with the Team Rocket special. That's crazy. So this man charges up a massive key blast and blasts everybody outside of the stronghold. He mm. starts coming at them at full speed on a demon horse with a trident. So this man tries to impale Raphael, but he ended up dodging it, and he ends up getting surrounded by all eight of the acolytes trained by the tribunal. But he didn't care that he was about to get jumped. Okay. Matter of fact, he was filled with joy. He wanted this shit. So Raphael is the first one to attack, along with the bride from Kill Bill. But he throws Raphael okay. in the shorty. Then here comes Hanzo. He gets pushed <laughs> and thrown to the side, just like Overwatch. Garbage. So here Damn. comes Mikey from the other side. But he gets pushed, choked, slammed on the ground. Then he got drugged, hit Donatello, and they both got slammed on a tree with thorns. This man just hit a collateral. So then Leonardo and the last two dudes try to attack him. But they get hit by that Wukong immobilized, and you just see him get blown move. up in the distance. So this man just caught like eight assault charges. Hmm. And you know what? I saw this comment on my last video. You forgot to mention that these are teenage you yep. ninja turtles. And you know what? You're damn right. Yep. So guess what? We hitting that nigga with child abuse. Oh, yep. Straight child So Master Splinter runs over here, now. and he's grieving over his sons getting their ass beat. And while the ancient one is behind him trying to comfort him, his fat ass gets hit with back shots. Damn. Hey. So the Shredder is looking at Master Splinter, and all hope seems lost. But the Turtles amulets end up using the power of ass pool because the spirit of Hamato Yoshi comes out of the amulets. What the heck? Wounding this man's soul, all of his evil from? energy is leaking out of him. So to repair himself, he had to take down his domain expansion and absorb of all course. of that energy and turn back into his dragon form. So Master Splinter had to give these boys a pep talk. He told them, Oh, my sons, reach deep into yourself on some Bruce Lee shit and into the dragon. So these boys okay. ended up manifesting dragon avatars just like the Tribunal what did. What the hell? The dragon so the turtle? the fate of the world all comes down to another dance of the dragons. So they start pushing them, but they get bitch slapped. But Leonardo lands a Kamehameha and mm. puts his ass in the dirt. But this was not going to stop him. Raphael came in to get a bite just to get bitch slapped oh, yeah. across New York and landed Put on that a man to the moon. God, people weren't on there. Then Donatello and Michelangelo take a double facial. Damn. Pause. Yeah. And, um, but here comes Maybe Leonardo hitting him with a kamikaze. I hope to God nobody is in these buildings right now because if they are, they are dead. So Leonardo yep, ended up dude. taking himself out on that shoulder bash. And Shredder got up and made his way to Karai because she was trying to use that dark magic shit on him again. So he flies down. And the first person he goes for is none other than 
Baxter Spot. Oh, no, like you didn't punish him enough. This man can't catch a break. Hey, whatever Shredder it is, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, they always got two things in common. Yep. Hating turtles and abusing Baxter Stockman. So he ends up eating this nigga. Mm. Then fucking Dr. Chaplin mm. again. So he's about to chow down on Karai. But Raphael and Donatello okay. grab him by the flex, snout. Flex. And Mikey comes in with the spear, Ooh. planting his big ass. And that gave Karai enough time to finish the ritual. And zapping all of this man's dark energy. So they start jumping, playing ping pong with his ass. And it got so bad, he ended up losing his helmet and his gauntlet. And that is significant, because that makes him a mortal being yep. again. So Donatello comes from the top of the six, yep. then after pinning him down, their amulets end up manifesting the spirit of Hamato Yoshi again. So this man Shredder was pissed. He was yelling at him like, no, I will not lose to some bullshit. No. This makes no fucking sense. You are right. It doesn't make a lick of sense. But it doesn't matter because this is on four kids. Yeah. So Hamato Yoshi jumps up and freezes Ooh. this nigga, splitting him right down the middle. GG's, man. Conclusion. Y'all right, everybody. We now turn our attention to the board of charges. Let's see. And my God, just look at it. Woo! A lot of property damage, trespass, and treason, terrorism. <sighs> man, vehicular manslaughter, war crimes. Oh, my Lord. Mass murder, murder. Lord! Man, is a demon. Look at it! Absolutely nasty work. Multiple charges he with really multiple cooked. counts. I think it's safe to say another shredder, another seat at the table. Yep. Jesus Christ, because this spread is ridiculous. And we still got one more Let's to go. go. And this last one, <laughs> he takes Hayden to another level. Really? So before I get out of here, I just got to thank y'all for two mil real quick. Hey. Absolutely insane. Congrats. It's still so surreal to me, man, because I had no clue I would get this far. I was just doing this shit in college for fun. And voila, but hey man, I starts. wouldn't take it back. So I love every single one of y'all. And until the final trial, the shredder true ride. Yes, sir. Congrats on that two mil, brother. Well deserved, man. You put the work in, you deserve it. Sheesh, man. This second shredder has no conscience, man. It's making transform into a freaking dragon, man. He's just killing people. Destroying property, it's just this man is a true menace, true monster, man. Sheesh, you know it's bad when some turtles got turned to dragons, boy. Ain't no way, damn it. That's my reaction to the demonic trial of the Tengu Shredder, man. Make sure y'all please follow CJ the Champ, man. He's amazing, amazing with his videos and commentary combo. Please follow him. Um, before I end this. Thank y'all so much for supporting the channel. Appreciate it, man. Hope everybody has a blessed day. I'm out. One love. Yeet.